Hi everyone, so today we are going to be building a bike storage area for the bikes in the winter because our garage is getting a little bit too full up now with the aircraft building. We've got this old bench here which we dismantled which was one of Matt's projects a few years ago but we no, no longer need it so we thought might as well recycle some of the wood. So hopefully we're going to have um, a covered area which just comes across here and down and Hopefully the bikes will be nice and dry for the winter. We've got our timber frame on this side, so we've got our support timber. The next stage is to get uh, timber up on this brick wall over here, like this, with a roof to attach to. So we've got some proper anchor bolts and a decent masonry bit. So we're going to build it to that slope. So we're going to get our timber along that brick line there. So the first step is to get the timber up marked. Then we're going to drill the timber for the 10mm uh, thread size, so the threads can go straight through. And then we'll drill the walls for the 16mm anchors to go in. And then we get that bit of timber up on the wall. <laughs> so these things are pretty cool. As, as this tightens up, it pulls this. Uh, shanky bit, this bit here, this tapered bit here, and blows those open so it's a pretty serious uh, wall plug. Should do the trick nicely. So what we've done is we, we, we might have cut a piece of wood to the right distance of the two walls at an angle resting on itself. And then what we've done is we've marked our timber that we're going to rest on on the fence side and the timber that we're going to rest on on the wall side. We've ensured that this height or this length here is the same at both ends, 55 mil. That way the timber moves parallel down onto the cutouts. So the cutouts disappear and it drops down parallel onto the bits of timber that we've cut out. If we do this, this should be a perfect fit. We've had a few goes so far trying to get it right. <laughs> ah, perfect. 